Untested Beast Productions. My name is Ibaka. Uh, it's time to play Arkham City and touch on something that's not particularly fun. Uh, controversial even. I don't give a fuck. Uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about it and we're going to keep it moving, you know? In the midst <laughs> of this video game about a man wearing a giant bat costume. There are a lot of two-faced thugs that have Catwoman, Catwoman's goods. So we're gonna beat them all up, beat them down brutally, and take it back here. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, I wanted today to talk about some domestic violence issues not in my own house thank almighty christ but within the hip-hop community i don't know if you saw it but dd p puppy comb sugar daddy bitch made combs <laughs> whatever the fuck you want to call p diddy sugar smacks sugar snacks whatever in the hell listen man p diddy was caught on video uh violating sierra or cassie excuse me lord Ugh. I can't keep all these people straight, I'm sorry. P. Diddy was caught on video beating Cassie. And there is no joke to make about that. It was completely disgusting. Uh, listen, bro, I, I got a mama, I got sisters, I got little sisters. You know what I'm saying? I got nieces, you know, man. We all have a woman that's important to us, so of course, you know, naturally, when I saw that, I was like, bro, really? Quinn's an idiot. She won't last one day without Joker. And he did an awful lot of talking You're about... Shut up! Anyway. P. Diddy did a lot of talking about how, you know, this was a cash grab and... You know, all the women accusing him are lying, all this shit, man, listen. I'm gonna tell you why I believed Cassie. Uh, back in like 2012 or 2013, man, one of those years, I saw a YouTube video with Professor Griff. He was being interviewed by some, some guy, man. And Professor Griff said in the video, you know, Cassie, I really hope I'm getting this woman's name right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna Google it right now just to make sure, because I am not, I do not pay attention to entertainers at all. Hold on. Her name is Cassie Ventura. <laughs> Professor Griff said, Cassie Ventura, that girl that's always with P. Diddy, he said, that is his slave. Cassie is Diddy's slave. That's what Professor Griff said all those years ago. And you know what? The year might not even been 2012 or 2013 bro it could have easily been 2011 whenever they first got together i remember professor professor griff saying this and me being in high school like oh man you know this that illuminati this that illuminati bullshit you know what i'm saying not that i didn't believe him i was just like i don't know man because when i when i think about p diddy i don't think about a tough guy you know i don't even think about the manliest man. When I think about P. Diddy, I just think about can't stop, won't stop, you know what I'm saying? Take that, take that. Which, by the way, sound like some of the gayest shit a man could ever say. Take that, take that. The fuck are you talking about, Diddy? Anyway, no Diddy. Anyway. When Professor Griff said that shit, though, back in the day, I was like, what is that about? What is he talking about? But... No, nah, that shit's real, man. And when you see that video, it kind of confirms some of those suspicions about how P. Diddy would treat not just Cassie, but any woman he was around. You know, I, listen, bro, I, <laughs> I have no patience for men who put their hands on women, bro. Don't get me wrong. If a woman presses the right, excuse me, the wrong buttons, I can see how a man would defend himself, you know, but even that, you can go too far with that. You know what I'm saying? 
There you go. And when you defend yourself against a woman, you don't gotta beat the shit out of her. Like, uh, uh, this is not very YouTube appropriate. Basically, what I'm trying to say is P. Diddy is a bitch. I wanna make that very clear. And I'm very comfortable saying that because I never really cared for P. Diddy. Uh, even if I did, wrong is wrong, bro. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Just, no. Keep your hands off of people. Keep your hands off of women. Leave people alone. That's not the way, bro. That's just not the way. And it's stuff like this that I really don't even like touching, touching on. But it's like, you know, what am I really afraid of? Not much. <laughs> I'm just here for my loot, bro. I'm taking back my booty, you know what I'm saying? No ditty. Watch out. Taking back all the booty. Okay. Are they on the map? I guess not. Five or Look 16. It's the cat. Shut up. But yeah, man, the domestic violence is no joke. See, I told you, cat woman's here. Hurt her. If you're in a situation where your partner is making you angry enough to hit them, just leave. Don't, don't even entertain that idea. It's there the are, cat. shut the hell up. Oh, damn it. I forgot about that. Excuse me. There's so many different types of abuse. But at the end of the day, abuse is abuse. And it's never okay. Never funny. Never comedic in any way. If you or someone you love has been abused, you know... Don't be ashamed to seek out help. Don't be ashamed to talk about it. And it's really difficult to talk about in the black community. So hard to talk about because black people are taught to be tough and strong and be out of the way and don't complain, don't cry, all this bullshit, bro. Like, honestly, I'm speaking as a black man right now. Like, people like Sean Diddy Puffy Combs. Puffy, Puffy Combs Sugar Smack Diddy. P Diddy Mini, P Diddy Puffy, Puffa Diddy Diddy Puff Fun Size. Any of them motherfuckers. R. Kelly. They are bad representations. <laughs> so bad of the brilliance behind black people. I don't even know how to say it right. Basically, them motherfuckers are barely humans. Honestly, if you could treat somebody like that, bro, that's just fucking crazy. I never understood that. Any chance of some more clothes down here? And then I look back at that video, and the first thing I thought about was the football player Ray Rice when he got caught. Uh, I want to say stiff arming his wife in the elevator. Bro, never a time and a place for that. Keep your hands to yourself. Leave women alone. Just doesn't serve you to beat on a woman, ever. And that's about as deep as I can go with it. You know, keep your hands to your motherfucking self. It's that simple. Uh, you know, I joke a lot. This is my damn channel, bro. I play video games and I joke around, but I come from the streets, bro. Let's never mistake that shit. And two things you learn on the streets, this is a lesson. <laughs> two things you learn, learn on the streets, no women, no children. Don't touch them, don't abuse them, don't hit them. Keep your hands to your motherfucking self because real niggas, will kill you behind that shit. So, it's not to say that I think P. Diddy is gonna die or he deserves to die, none of that shit, man. How many people can go head to head with a freaking Batmobile and survive? It's not dead, man. I don't know, man. 
I just don't know. And then where does he go from here? Like, can he actually be forgiven? I'm sure he could, but I don't have to. And I saw his punk ass apology. Like, what the fuck was even that for, bro? Who was that for? You know, you found out later that uh, the reason P. Diddy didn't actually say Cassie's name was because legally he couldn't. But at the same time, bro, bro, you, you could have kept that. Like, that, that did not serve you or anybody else. I can't imagine what Cassie is feeling. I just, I don't know, bro. Uh, I hate this. I hate everything about that video. I hate that it happened. You know, I wish women were never treated that way. Or men, you know, because anybody can be abused. But nah, bro, I'm here to say fuck P. Diddy. <laughs> and that's not a new feeling. Like I, Great. More freaking snow. honestly, and this is not, you know, on that Illuminati bullshit. Like I honestly always felt like P. Diddy was a little twisted to say the absolute least, you know, always felt like he was a little weird. You catch him in pictures, hug another man from behind, which is fine. Then you catch him trying to kiss Rick, Rick Ross, which is also fine if, if Rick is into that. You know. But I always felt like P. Diddy was not a good person. Because you look at the people around him that have disappeared or died, and it's like, P. Diddy healthy as hell. You know, I don't want to get into conspiracies. <laughs> I just wanted to take these first. Oh, where I'm at? Let's see where I'm at, bro. It's been 15 minutes. I want to take this first 15 minutes and just say that I'm sorry to anybody that was abused and had to see that. I'm sorry to <sighs> Cassie for going through that. It's just horrible, you know. without getting too much into the idea of race. Uh, I'm sorry that this happened to a brown woman, black woman. Look out! It's, the cat. it's just horrible. No woman should have to go through it. No man. <sighs> Boss wants you skin. We're gonna do it. Shut up, bitch. I told you, Catwoman's here. Hurt her. Okay, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna delve too too much deeper into it because this is a video game, and I probably wasn't appropriate to talk about it in the first place, honestly. But I don't give a fuck. Nobody watches these videos, bro. And that's honestly just the way I like it. Because some shit I can say and get away with, and some shit I cannot. But I just want to say, on behalf of black men everywhere, P. Diddy is not a fucking representation of us. <laughs> Let me say that. Nor is R. Kelly. Nor is Bill Cosby. No. There are good black men. There are good black women. Great, even. And just because a person is black or brown doesn't mean that you should care less that they're being abused. Nobody's fucking special, bro. I'm sorry. Not white people, not black people, not Chinese people. It's good. I'm, I'm not getting political. Nobody's special to me. This is Ibaka, by the way. I don't give a f Everybody's the same. I respect everybody and love everybody the same, but I am black. Very black. Blackity black, black, black. So it hits a little different when it's <sighs> one of us. But you know, like I was saying, man, just keep your hands to yourself. Respect all people, man. Yeah, no Diddy. I want to make that very fucking clear. No Diddy ever. It's like he did everything he could to destroy his legacy. If you want to call it that. You know what I'm saying? Ugh.
Anyway. Uh, could make some prison jokes or some shit, but not now. <laughs> not this episode. No, no, no. Oh, dude, I think you're the last one. Not shut up. You're all horrible people. That's all of it. Now what's a girl to do? I could quit this crazy town, but where's the fun in that? Ugh. Why do they all have guns? Alright, bro. I'm I'm not. I do not like playing as Catwoman. Um. Yeah. Another thing this situation makes me wonder is if this is some type of sacrifice of Sean Combs. Not that I care about that. It's just very interesting how quickly his empire is toppling. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to make it very fucking clear. I will never defend P. Diddy, ever. I don't. First of all, I don't care enough about him as a person to defend him. And second of all, he was just wrong for so many different reasons. You know. But I'm just saying, man. I wonder who he pissed off to be in this position right now. Catwoman. Bitch, don't you shoot me. Because they'll tell you, like, oh, man, that Illuminati shit is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that secret society stuff is nonsense. Like, hip-hop is hip-hop is hip-hop. But at the same time, you see stuff like this, and it's like, uh... What the hell is she... Is it, though? Is it all just nonsense? Secret rituals and all that shit, man? I don't know. I don't know. There are too many things that happen that's not just a coincidence. And, uh, you know, it raises another question. And again, I, I'm not talking about politics right now, which I never will with strangers, but, <laughs> or family for that matter. Is this just a distraction? From something horrible that's about to happen globally again last time it was fucking COVID. anyway if you believe in the illuminati drop a comment down below and explain <laughs> what youtube video you saw that made you think that <sighs> or don't i don't know man like i said I, it probably wasn't appropriate to talk about this stuff i just wanted to say that i'm sorry to cassie I, I really, really am. Because that, that video only showed a smidgen, a tiny glimpse of what that woman had been through, bro. I'm telling you. And then he was just too comfortable in the fucking video. They told me he was drunk. Fuck that. He was running full speed, holding a towel with one damn hand, bro. Like, drunk? Nah. I don't think he was drunk at all. I think he was very fucking sober. And I think even in his apology, he was like, I was fucked up. I was fucked up. No, you wasn't, Sean. No, you weren't. I've been around drunk people. Now, I don't drink or do drugs, but I've been around drunk people. They all do the same stupid shit, stumbling around, trying to... F they either stumbling around, trying to hug and kiss everybody, or trying to fight. That's been my experience with drunk people, honestly. Uh, it don't matter the sex of the person. Drunk people all do the same type of shit. Some people can handle their liquor better than others, but in that video, bro, you were not drunk. You was maybe a little high, but you wasn't drunk. Running like that and kicking that fucking woman like that. Oh, bro, somebody needs to fuck him up. No, that's, is that a threat? I'm sorry. I don't want to threaten anybody, but how can I say that better? P. Diddy should be properly assaulted for hurting women. I don't know. Say this shit all the time, but I'm from the streets, bro. That that's an ass whooping right there. That's Cassie is somebody's daughter, somebody's sister, somebody cousin, and now she's somebody's wife. Are you what? Listen, <laughs> I'm not sure why they're trying to destroy P Diddy, or excuse me, I'm not sure why he chose to destroy himself. But this wasn't the way, King. 
P. Diddy is a billionaire. You're a fucking mogul, bro. People look up to you for reasons like this. Like, I don't know how you come back from this. I really don't. I don't. This video is definitely going to be age restricted. <laughs> oh, man. I love women so much, man. And I respect and appreciate women. I, I respect and appreciate my mother. I, I respect and appreciate my wife. Uh, I would never ever even think about hitting these people who I say that I love. There's no way in hell. No matter what my wife says to me, there's there's no way in hell I would ever put my hands on my wife, ever. Not that Cassie was his wife at the time, but still, even your girlfriend, bro, you don't do that. You don't hit girls. <laughs> Ibaka. <laughs> Something I heard my whole life. You can't hit girls. Why not? Don't matter. You can't hit them. But as you get older and people start actually fucking explaining shit, you can't hit women because they're smaller than you. You know, they may not be as strong physically. They may not be as big as a man physically, but they damn sure stronger. Women are stronger than guys, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of weak men. A lot of weak men. You know, and I know a few women who are a little shaky too, but I know too many strong women. I know too many strong women and too many weak men. That's what's fucking crazy. Because I know really strong men too. But I said this in a previous video, bro. I got three aunties that will kick your ass. I mean, bro, hammer to hammer, knuckle to knuckle. I got three aunties that'll fuck you up in a fist fight. Like, real talk. Like, <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be age restricted. Listen, all I'm saying is women are tough. You know, what starts with a tick? Oh, hell and no. Ends with a shock. Your ass locked up. You still got, uh-uh, I ain't doing this. But yeah, man, I just I just wanted to express my opinion on the Diddy video. Well, one of many. This is the only one we've seen as a community of Americans, I guess. Uh, and say that I'm sorry all of this is happening. I hope that Cassie has received some help. And that her and her husband don't allow this to interfere with their relationship. You know, in their marriage. I just, I want, I want her to be okay. You know. And to anybody that was saying, like, you know, I don't believe her, she's a liar, eh, I get it. Because you want to give people the benefit of the doubt, especially people that are, like, P. Diddy's friends. I understand, bro. I don't, you know, I just went a different way with it because Professor Griff called this years ago. And I believed him then because Cassie was acting so weird. She really didn't talk that much. She, like, shaved one side of her head. You know what I'm saying? Like... It's certain stuff you look at and you go, now, why is that that way? And when you don't get answers, it's just weird. It's not like she was doing a bunch of talking. She wasn't talking to the media. Oh, me and Sean are so happy. You know, I don't know, man. I'm just black and I got to talk on black matters sometimes. This is one of those times. Fuck P. Diddy. I'll say that to the ends of the earth. Fuck P. Diddy. Um, I'm sure he can be forgiven you know, we shouldn't be so quick to throw people away. We all make mistakes. Uh, we've all been in positions where we're like, you know, we shouldn't have done that shit, man. But at the end of the day, it's fucked up to say this, but if you own video, bro, it might just be over for you. If you own video fucking up like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Ain't, ain't, much, else you, ain't much you can really do with that. If I'm keeping it all the way real. P. Diddy is just done. Where the hell is this trophy? P. Diddy is big done, bro. Done, done. Dunzo. Finito. Finished. Get him out of there. But, yeah. And I'm just curious, like, if this starts like a ripple effect. You know, because P. Diddy has friends, right? And allegedly, they've all been to these wild Hollywood parties. But my whole thing is, and I'm not saying I wish this, but if I'm P. Diddy and all these people are coming after me and saying all these horrible things about me after this video, I just might release these tapes. Let the truth come out. What did Cat Williams say? You know what I'm saying? 2024 is the year of the truth. About to be some shit exposed. Hollywood. Sick fucks. It's coming out, man. And I'm not mad about that. 
one of these bitches got a scrambler. Okay. The Joker is dead. Like, who are y'all even taking orders from now? Sleep, my precious. Mm. This will make things easier. No, man, I just, I do my best to respect and love everybody, you know. I'm not trying to cause any trouble by my comments, but I don't mind it. I don't really give a fuck. Because what I stand for can never really be destroyed. It's Jesus. I rock with Jesus. Okay. I'm trying to think about anything else I can say about it without... You know, pretty sure I offended somebody. Oh, okay, cool, last one. Let me see. Okay, it's trophy straight ahead. But yeah, man, uh, I guess if there's anybody still riding with Diddy, can you please tell me why? What more do you need to see? And again, I'm, I'm not saying we should just throw this person away. I'm not saying P. Diddy should just be killed or no shit like that. He do need his ass whooped, though. He, let's make that straight. He do need his ass whooped. You don't treat no woman like that. Fuck all that. But there should be room for redemption when people make mistakes. And there is. When it's not your sister or your cousin or your mother. You know what I'm saying? One thing about the internet, man, one thing about people that I'm noticing is that if it's not in their house, if it wasn't brought to their door, they really don't care to do much more than send a tweet you know some people actually get out there and riot and shit or not riot what's it called what they call it protesting yeah it's people that do that but you know if it's not brought to your house people typically don't care i care because i was raised by women strong beautiful black women you know what i'm saying my mom is a strong beautiful black woman you know it's just, it's tough, man, to see something like that. That video was horrible. Uh, makes me want to fight, and that's not good. Because I fight to break, not to win. But, whatever, man. I don't even know, I'm pretty sure, because of the stat statutes of limitation, he can't do any time behind that. This place a prison. But he should. He really should do some time. Okay, I don't want to get shot again. This damn game. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, man, I just... I pray for everybody to get healing. You know. And I pray that in the black community we get to a point... Jeez, it's cold. ...where we can talk about these types of things openly without being ashamed for being soft or weak. Seriously, because you got to be able to talk, bro. You have to be able to feel your feels. It's okay. It's okay to cry. Who let Catwoman in here? Shut up, bitch. It's okay to, um, you know, feel. It really is. What's on TV right now? Nothing What's good, on, bro. Catwoman? Too scared to come and fight me? Okay. Oh, damn. I think it's on top of the building. I don't want to go up there. Why do everybody got guns? Too scared to fight us? Not surprised. Yep, it's going to be on top of the building. But yeah, between the Kendrick Lamar beef keep and this P. Diddy nonsense, man, it's been... 2024 has already been a really long year. Really, really long year. Of course.
Catwoman's over here! Oh god. Anyway. What? Over here! Now I found someone! This is no good. He won't wake up. Over here! I got her! But I mean, if there was a secret society. I just, I'm sorry, I don't believe they would let black people in. <laughs> That's what always threw me when people said, oh man, he and the Illuminati. Eh, if they black or brown, bro, I doubt it. You know, I'm just saying. Seems like a uh, different kind of club for those who are of a lighter hue, white. It seems like they would only let white people in, but I, that's not for me to say, I don't know. But if you had to pick a punishment for P. Diddy, what would it be, bro? That's my question, one of the questions for the day. How should he be punished? You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm Cassie's family, I'm like, yo, <laughs> I need five minutes, man. <laughs> Lock me in a room with this so-called <laughs> love enthusiast. Yeah, he... he... Buddy got to take, he, we need, we're going to have to throw some hands, man. Because, uh, I can't watch that video without getting angry. And that is, I'm not related to Cassie at all. Now. Okay. We can finally clear out Catwoman's Riddler trophy, something I have never done in any playthrough. But I figure, why not? Why not show you where they all are? You know, kind of wish I was doing it under different circumstances, but that's okay. <sighs> Sometimes you got to talk about something horrible. Okay, so not this way. Maybe this way. Try to make this quick, man. I think Batman got like two more trophies left. There we go. And if you are a hip hop head, do you think Tupac is alive? I don't wanna to get too far off track, but I've heard rumors that Puffy Diddy Combs was the one that assassinated Biggie Smalls, allegedly, hypothetically, maybe, possibly, I don't know. But I've also heard rumors that Tupac was still alive, so who the hell really knows, man? I never believed Tupac was still alive because I don't think a charismatic mind with a voice as powerful as Tupac Shakur. Shakur? Shakur. I don't think he could be quiet for 30 years, bro. I feel like Tupac would have made some appearances somewhere. You know? Uh, I don't know if you can shut Tupac up without killing him. I mean, it'd be cool if he was still alive, but I don't know. Biggie Smalls, they definitely killed him which is horrible, but it's funny how all of these things lead back to sugar smack combs, honey, honey combs, as Jaguar Wright has a uh, <laughs> nicknamed him. I don't know. You know what? No, nah, he ain't getting that nickname for me. He ain't ruining honey combs, bro. Honey combs are delicious. Fuck that. We're going to call him sugar smack combs. He can have sugar smacks. I don't give a damn about that cereal. But yeah, like, I don't know, man. Okay, yep, I know how to get to this one. Hold on, bro. I went the wrong way. Yep. Now we're getting somewhere. And you know what else, bro? It's really hard to listen to people defend P. Diddy. Not even defend, just... I don't know. I, I, there was always something off about him that I did not like. Uh, that could just be a personal issue, though. That doesn't mean he was guilty of anything at the time. I just, I hate to say that I wasn't surprised by this video, and I wasn't surprised by 
uh, Cassie's. At first they were allegations. Now I believe them. Damn it! Nah, <laughs> I almost said allegations again. Nah, nah, she's telling the truth. And what's crazy is you got to see it on video to believe it for a lot of these people, man. You got to see it. But P. Diddy has bodyguards. He has friends. He has people around him that talk about how aggressive he is and how he mistreats people and how he's just honestly, bro, a nasty person, bro. Like, you don't believe them either, huh? The people that are literally with him 24-7. That's cool. Ugh. Don't you motherfuckers ever take a day off? Like, what is the point of you being here right now? The Joker is dead. I don't know, man. I just, I hope that there is some type of justice being served because the court of public opinion is not enough he needs to be punished somehow some way put it lock his ass up i'm saying it right here battle tested beast productions lock p diddy here. shut up bitch lock p diddy the fuck up that's the last thing i'm gonna say about it on purpose oh dude here we go awesome all right, bro. I think I got it down to five trophies, if I'm not mistaken, for Catwoman. Hmm. I'm going to try to clear this out as soon as possible. Let's see how that goes. Isn't this nice? I guess Batman found your wife after all. Yes. My beautiful Laura is now safe. So, is now a good time to talk to you about an idea I had to steal the Pharaoh's diamond from the Egyptian museum? It's really hot there, and, well, all this latex really makes a girl sweat. Leave me with my wife, Catwoman. Just asking, Freeze. Just asking. Okay, I took down the punk-ass Riddler, but for some reason, he still has riddles and trophies and something broken, or that needs to be broken out here. I gotta find that. It's not a Joker balloon. It has to be a Wonder City thing. I'm pretty sure it is, actually. Okay, for now, how many trophies are out here for Batman? Two. There's two trophies left. Okay, I'm sure this is a tiger trophy. Yep, here we go. Simple stuff. I'm sure, something stupid like countenance, admittance, of course. Open up. Yeah. Okay, there should be one more out here. Now, I did not know that you could beat the Riddler without getting all of the trophies. That's cool though, bro. Uh, I'm kind of over it. Put down the knife. Someone needs to go get a refund. You need to cry, fish. Oh. You just need to do what I tell you to do, right? Please. Listen, you really don't want to go pissing me off. Because I got friends in here. I'll Please. Please, come on, bro. Means, but okay, please, don't hey, hurt man. me. I can't guarantee you that. I'll do it. I promise. Please. Ah! Please stop. Help! Come on, stop, man. Please. Ugh, you need a good beat down, bro. 
<laughs> Just in here taking booty, huh? That ain't gangster, bro. That ain't gangster. Get down there. What's the bat doing here? Shut up, Trish. Where did, where did the prison wife go? Sir. I can't believe you saved me. You okay, bro? I'm really sorry about that. Ugh. Okay, and this should be the last trophy on the outside of any of the buildings. Let's see. Here we go. That's right. Okay, these dudes still have guns. Why do they have all these guns? I need to get back into the uh, building there. I really don't want to get shot. I don't. I get infuriated when I get shot in this game. I don't know why. It's completely irrational, but it pisses me off like you wouldn't believe. I'm so hungry. Where'd all the food go anyway? Oh, man. Okay, so I got to take all these dudes down before I can get back in the building. That is wonderful. Or wait, how do I get back in the building? I am tripping right now. Who's next? What? Right in the balls. Get down. Okay, I'm not even sure if I can get back this way, but I'm going to try. There's a riddle in here that involves the Abramovi Abramovich twins. I got to go get that. And bro, I, I, I sincerely wish there was a way that I could play uh, Batman Arkham Origins. I'm going to have to figure that out. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm sure you've already played it, but, <laughs> but I'm not going to give away any spoilers to that game. I wish I could play it. I've got to figure that out because you get to play as younger, more angry Batman. And that makes me happy, even though the story was kind of lazy. That's okay. Still a game worth playing, I think. Oh, look, I get to do this again. What's the bat doing here? Uh, cleaning up my mess, man. I didn't kill the Joker, by the way. He chose to die by stabbing me in the fucking shoulder. Come here. Get on down here. Ah. All right, let's make this quick, bro. I personally think that Nightwing deserves his own video game. I would really enjoy that. You know, roaming Bloodhaven as Nightwing. I think that would be cool. Like, really, really cool. If you don't know, I'm going to tell you. Nightwing is the first Robin. Richard Grayson. Dick Grayson. That's the very first Robin that Batman, uh, I almost said employed. But do you pay these kids that you drag into battle, you psychotic son of a bitch? I mean, kind of. You know what Batman is? Batman is like college football player get yeah, batman is like the college for college football players right it's like we're not going to pay you any money to be robin but you get a scholarship you can live in the mansion yeah you know say we're meeting alfred and eat the best foods and go to the best schools but you're not going to get any actual money dick tim jason <laughs> oh, that's great i don't think i really have to fight y'all so I'm not going to Yep. Oh, it is good to be back together, brother. It was a mistake to work for the penguin. I know that now. I cannot stand being apart again. I wish to be rejoined, brother. Me too. We spent too long joined to live another moment apart. 
Together, we will destroy anyone who stands in our way. I believe it. Can y'all hear this? Or this? On a mercy. Man, I, I can't believe he's dead, you know? I know, man. He was one of the best. The best at like what? A brother. Yeah. It's the freaking man! I wish I would have listened to that a little more. What are y'all talking about? The Joker was insane. And I didn't kill him, by the way. Again, he chose death, okay? Also, don't really feel like fighting y'all, honestly. But I will. I enjoy this. Give me that gun. Yeah. And the balls. <laughs> Where the hell is Harley? I bet that damn unbreakable is in the sewer. I think it's some chattering teeth. Riddler's back, huh? Figures. I've seen these weird question marks all over Arkham City. I'm looking for the last unbreakable item. And I think I got all the penguins. I got all the balloons that the Joker had. I'm confident it's a it's some clattering teeth. Chuckling teeth, whatever the hell it's called. But anyway, like I was saying, if they if if a company did put together a Nightwing game, what would you want in your Nightwing game? Dick Grayson. For me, I would want absolutely no attachment to the Batman. Batman shouldn't even be mentioned in the game. It should truly be a Nightwing feature. You know what I'm saying? Like, let Nightwing shine. Uh, I like incarnations of Nightwing where he's not a little bitch that gets captured and has to beg Batman to come and save him. I don't know what that's about. I don't know why they do that. But Dick Grayson is a cool enough character to where you don't have to do that, okay? Yup, yeah, look at them damn teeth. I just saw them. Am I tripping? I know I just saw some teeth. Bro, I am tweaked. Oh my gosh, this damn game. I know I saw some teeth over there, bro. Something was moving. I hope I see it in post. And I'm not actually tripping. But yeah, the way it happened in the animated series when Nightwing and Batman kind of separated as partners. And I'm, I hope you can remember this. I'll put the episode in post, but... Or wait, it, was it the animated series or was it Bat, the new Batman Adventures when they explained it? I'm pretty sure it was the new Batman Adventures, uh, actually, because uh, Robin, who in the new Batman Adventures, they basically combined. Batman, what's wrong? Bro, fix your face. I'm, I'm talking about some good stuff. You gotta calm the hell down. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing, bro. You know what I'm saying? We cool. Uh, but yeah, in the new Batman Adventures, they basically combined like tim drake and jason todd together and made a robin which was silly but robin eventually asks nightwing you know what happened between you and batman oh my gosh you people just don't stop and i gotta punch all of y'all in the balls it's gonna be nut juice everywhere damn why didn't that work i feel like that should have worked Oh well. Nightwing explains that uh, people change. You know, things just happen. Shut up, tricks. But in all actuality, Batman was looking for a criminal. He's been zapped or something. Yeah, he was zapped. Batman was looking for a criminal, and uh, he found him. He went into his house. You know, Batman don't give no fucks, bro. Batman is a thug. You, you know what I'm saying? Thug life, in a real way. But you know, Batman was doing this. He was interrogating the guy. In front of his son. Shut up. Shut the hell up. You know what? We need to keep looking or we're all dead. What's wrong? Who scared the shooter came from over there? I've got him. He's over here. Stop shooting me. What? Dickless. <laughs> Any more. Damn. But anyway. 
Batman was interrogating the guy in front of his son, and he got really rough with him. You know how Batman get down, bro. He don't care. And, you know, Dick was like, you know, Batman, not in front of the kid, bro. Like, have some limits with that. You know what I'm saying? And Batman was like, yeah, fuck you. Fuck that kid. You know what I'm saying? Where's the Oski? You feel me? Where's, where's, the, where's the bug I'm looking for? And so Nightwing was like, you know what? This ain't how I want to do business. I'm done with you. I'm done with this. You know what I'm saying? And they got up on the roof. And Dick Grayson was basically like, hey, yo, Batman, you was a bitch for what you did up in there. You know what I'm saying? And Batman was like, if I'm a bitch, prove me a bitch, bro. What you talking about? Like, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? I, I raised you. You know what I'm saying? Your parents died. I saw it. I raised you, Dick. And Dick was like, you know what, bro? God! Punched Batman dead in the jaw. And Batman didn't even hit him back. He was like, you know what, bro? I probably could have handled that differently. But I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I deserve that. Anyway, so Dick moves out. He becomes his own thing. He takes on the mantle of Nightwing. And he uh, then heads over to Bloodhaven. And that is now his domain. But yeah. Oh, mic check. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. If there was a Nightwing game, what would you want to see in it? That's my question to you. What do you, what do you want to see in that Nightwing game? And why the hell haven't they done a Nightwing game? Oh, this unbreakable, this unbreakable thing is really going to piss me off. I don't know where it could be because it's not in any of the buildings. I don't think it's a set of balloons. Hold on, let me see. I think I can check to see what it is. But no, go back. I got new gadgets. Why does it say new? What's new? Oh. Wonderful, wonderful. I got 404 out of 440. What the hell? How many trophies is left? Oh man, I'm missing some stuff. Yeah, sorry about that, bro. So the game is telling me that I missed a camera here somewhere around this area. I'm going to do my best to complete this game to 100%. We'll see about that. I'm very busy. And there are so many amazing video games that I want to play on this channel. Uh, missing a camera. No warm clothing for you, sir. Dude, there's the damn camera right there. Smokes. I told you, they took him off me. I tried. Please. I like booty. You gotta stop this, bro. I'm telling you, it's not healthy. Hey, you chicken man or No way you dodge man? that. You dickless. What up, Fleece? I thought I just put you down a while ago, bro. Okay. I found the camera. You gotta take out all the cameras for reasons. Awesome. Okay. How much more do I have left, Riddler? Like... And I think that's a Tiger Control box here. So I gotta find that and shut that down. The Riddler, something is wrong with him, okay? I don't know what it is, but something is just not, something is, he's not well, because there's no damn way. You see weird -ass plants around here, and you know you found it's Batman. Don't you shoot me! Okay, there's a tiger control box around here somewhere. Hmm. This place is turning to crap right in front of my eyes. You telling me, pal. 
But you know what? I wouldn't mind seeing a Robin standalone game either. I couldn't find any. Oh, please. Please. I'll go back and look some more. Please. Yeah, you will. Didn't I tell you that I'd be very disappointed if you came back here without any pills? I need my medication. Without it, I'd just get angry. Doctor told me that was why I took out my frustrations on worms like you. Please, oh, you don't well. need to hurt me again. I'll go back to the church and see what I can find. Sure you will. Please. I just need to give you a little motivation. Oh, and when you get there, remember to say hi to Cash. Tell him I haven't forgotten the beating that hook-handed bastard gave me at the Please. asylum. Please. Come on, bro. Somebody's gonna have to give us some booty. Come on, bro. Chill. Give me that arm. Ah, oh, the glitches. There you go. Hearts be angry with a broken arm, pal. Prison wife, are you okay? Batman, thank you. You're welcome. I broke his arm, so hopefully he stays down for good this time, or at least for a little longer. What's the bat doing here? What can you take, little girl? Fleas. I like you. No, won't you? No, we can do it the easy way out of the hallway. Where is he at? Oh, no. Bro, Flea's been on the move, man. Bro, you gotta stop this. Booty. A man's butt. Booty is not more important than water. Yes, you'll do what I want and find You don't need to cry, fish. You just need to do what I tell you to do, right? You understand? And listen. You really don't want to go pissing me. Take a nap, please. Take a nap. I like you. Now, won't you? Oh, God. Damn it, Fleece. Where are you at, bro? No means no. Ah. Somebody's going to have to give us some booty. Son of a bitch. Booty. How hungry for booty can one man be? Ah! What the hell? Put your punk ass down. What is happening right now, Batman? Ah! All of y'all some bitches. Everybody down. Damn. Ah! I just wanted to see if I could go back in here. Of course not. Okay, I don't know where the last unbreakable object is. This is a bummer. Oh, dude, there's one right here. Oh, man. What's well, something I learned about Catwoman? Uh, I learned recently that Talia Al Ghul lost a fight to Catwoman. I think that's pretty cool. I think she was, like, trying to destroy the world or some nonsense. I don't know, man. And Catwoman laced her up. Hilarious. You got like this badass assassin lady and this former sex worker. And the former sex worker wins. I love Gotham. I've been looking for this trophy for like 15 minutes bro it's inside the toy company with bane uh okay so this should be the last catwoman trophy i think i got like a few more to get for uh batman and then i should be done with the game bro i will be doing new story plus but maybe after i uh can upgrade my graphics card to make the game look a little better. What the hell is that? Why did it just get loud in here? 
That's weird. Okay, so yeah, that should be all the Catwoman's trophies. Uh, time to go get Batman. There's still work to do here in Arkham City. Okay. Oh damn, did I get all the trophies? Am I done, bro? Four twenty six out of four forty. Yeah, see stuff like this I missed. There's certain things you can't really do unless you're in a certain position in the game. Like this I can do. That's pretty easy. But a lot of these challenges I'll probably get back to. You know, once I uh upgrade my graphics card, like I said. Why doesn't someone just pick up those phones? Uh I touched on a lot of heavy topics today. Not really suited for a Batman game, but overall I just want everybody to know that <laughs> I come in peace. Doesn't mean I'm gonna stand on a hill. Doesn't mean I'm afraid of anybody. I just, uh, I know that women shouldn't be treated that way. That's what I know, you know? Because he has no soul. All of his trophies are from hell. Let me see, there's a few of these little challenges I could take care of before I shut down shop. I started Fallout 4. And that's going well. I love Fallout. Wonderful. It's a Catwoman trophy there? In the museum? No. No. Oh my gosh. Why? Thank God. Okay. So it looks like the final things I have to do are these challenges and some Tiger Guard cameras. Yep. I may go ahead, or rather I think, I'm gonna finish these challenges up in New Story Plus and I'll get the cameras right now. Where's the industrial district? Okay, that's one. And this should be the final activity of the game. Outside of the challenge maps. Out of this place in one piece. I'm heading for Bloodhaven. I hear there's all kinds of crap going on down there. No, no, that's Nightwing's area. You can't go there. You know what I'm saying? Nightwing can knock your ass out. I like Nightwing a lot. Okay, bro. Awesome, so the last things left are the challenges here. And like I said, I will be doing these during the uh, New Story Plus mode. There's just one more bit of business before I shut this down and get ready for Arkham Knight. I remember this place back before they built a wall around it. Suck then too.